phone. All right. Hi, I'm glad you got here. here. My magic wand. Let's go. All right. Six years ago, I created a company called Zipcar, whose goal it was to make rental cars emulate personal cars. We wanted to make getting a car as easy and convenient as getting cash from an ATM. In order to accomplish that, we had to use the internet and wireless data transmission in a way that was a really seamless user experience. The wonderful thing about being an entrepreneur is that I feel like uh, the conductor of a symphony and that you're pulling together all these different people to create your vision. And it's thrilling after the fact that you can look back and think, all these people work together and produce this wonderful, beautiful thing. The way Zipcar works is people are members and when they become a member, they make a reservation either online or by telephone and it takes about 30 seconds. That reservation gets sent wirelessly to the car and the car will only open to the right person at the right car at the right time. Every car has its own name. Here we are at Matrix Mark. The last car we saw was Erica Element. We have a fleet of more than 700 cars satisfying the needs of 36,000 people. We think that Zipcar has taken between seven and 10,000 cars off the road. One of my favorite emails was a member sent a one-line sentence to Zipcar that said, have I told you lately that I love you? When I go to another city like in New York or Washington for a business trip, it's amazing to think I have a whole fleet of cars at my disposal in those cities. Wow. Oh my gosh. I really couldn't have done it without my family. <laughs> there were days when I came home ready to like completely give it up. You couldn't do it. <laughs> I can do that. And my family was there to say, you know, Mom, okay. you're great and we love you no matter what's going on. So it's been interesting to me, you know, as I embark on a next venture, I know I'm going to need them a lot and they're slightly frightened by the proposal. <laughs> they're thinking, are you sure you want to go there? I'm not with Zipcar anymore, but I'm still totally infatuated with transportation because I care about global warming and also because our fossil fuel reserves are depleting and we need to do something about that. So I look at the urban environment and I think, how can we get from here to there without such a high dependency on cars? And I'm working on a new company that again hopes to take advantage of wireless data transmission and works in the realm of transportation. When I was about 25, I worked at a company that was started by a woman who was 75, and she was still running it into her 90s. And I looked at that woman, I thought, my God, I want to be like that. I want to start something when I'm 75 and think, I've got another 25 years in me. I'm hoping that my new company will take information and make our lives better in very concrete ways. I'm approaching midlife. I, I, I look at it and think, am I halfway there? I'm 47. So, I have good genes. I could be exactly halfway. Here, can I throw it to you? I really have a strong desire to leave the world a better place. And I feel like we are um, entering into a really difficult time ahead with global warming and fossil fuel being depleted. And I want my children to have a wonderful quality of life. And actually, I want the world's children to have a wonderful quality of life.